Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. Now, I did a video about the Water Seer a few days ago. Got a lot of views. And this is their Indiegogo page. They are fully funded. I want to talk about a different technology based on a similar science of evaporation and condensation. The Water Seer does it by taking warm air up top and then condensating on a, t a much cooler surface buried six feet underground. And that just condensates like cold... Uh, like a cold beer collecting water on the outside of a can. Now, we're over at treehugger.com. I'll link to this in the description. This device is basically a dehumidifier, but instead of using Freon to create condensation and evaporation, it uses a type of salt as a decacant. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. But basically, this is how it works. They take the cool air, put it through salt, and the salt collects the moisture from the air. And then they take heat from a solar thermal collector. So it needs to have both electricity and a solar thermal collector to work. And it, the heat then evaporates the moisture back out of the salt. It creates a steam, then they put it into a condenser, thus condensing on a, a cooler surface, for use as um, drinking water, filling swimming pools, they even have an industrial model that they're working on. And the home model is about the size of an air conditioner unit that you put outside the house. It makes about 40 to 100 gallons a day. And they're talking about a $9,000 cost. But you know what? If you're in a desert environment or you're someplace where it's kind of tough to get good, clean water, especially if you're trying to build a golf course or a big development like this, one of these systems or a row of these systems like shown here, could be the solution to your problem. I'm going to link to uh, the how it works and the tree hugger article in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.